Um, sometimes I make it with stew beef meat. Today I'm going to make it with ground beef. So we're going to get started. In my pan here, I have two um, pounds of ground beef. We're going to get it all ground, uh, browned up. And yeah, so to my ground beef, I'm going to add one tablespoon of salt and a half of, um, excuse me, one teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of black pepper. We're going to add two tablespoons of green onions. We're going to add one tablespoon of our Kinder's caramelized onion butter to it. Okay. We're going to add two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. We're going to add one can of mushrooms to it. Sometimes I add dried mushrooms, but today all I have is the can, so we're just going to add the canned mushrooms to it. And we're going to brown this up really good. And when it gets brown, I'll bring y'all back. A cup of brown gravy using the mix and beef bone broth. So we're going to get this mixed up real good. And then we're going to move this over just a minute. Right there. We're going to slide this pot on. And we're going to add one cup of bean beef broth to this. Then we're going to add, I can't talk today, I don't know what is wrong with me. We're going to add one fourth of a cup of brown gravy mix right here to it. We're going to whisk it in there and we're going to bring it to, to a bowl. And in this bowl, I have 16 ounce package of pasta cooked according to the package directions. And then I rinsed it in cold water to stop the cooking process so that I could add, you know, stop it from cooking so it wouldn't overcook while we got the rest of this ready. We're just gonna keep whisking this in. So we get all of our mix in there. We don't want any of those powdery clots in there. I'm sorry it took so long guys to get a video out. We had um, a sickness in our family and I had to take care of that so I couldn't get a video out. So I do apologize it took so long to get a video put up. But the family member is doing better now, so we're going to get right back on track. And it's coming together nicely here. And I would like to say thank you to everybody. We're up to 126 subscribers, so I'm proud of that. I love you guys very much for sticking with us and subscribing. Thank you. And when we get up to 150, we are going to do another t-shirt giveaway. So when we get up to 150, I'm going to do, I think what I'm going to do is a t-shirt and a hat giveaway, give away one t-shirt and one hat. So I'll draw two names and I'll tell you what video and we'll do the same as we did last time. Everybody who comments on it likes and comments on it i'll put your name in a drawing and we will draw the names like we did last time and i'll let junior do the drawing because he really enjoyed that so okay our gravy is done so what we're going to do is we're going to add it to our meat mixture here here. There we go. Alright, put that back there. Let's turn our heat down a little bit. We're going to put all this back up here on the heat. 
Mix this in really good. Get all this goodness mixed together just like this. And we're going to let it simmer. I know y'all hear me. My allergies are really bothering me since the season. The weather's changing. They are doing really bad. So we're going to let this simmer for a few minutes. Probably about five to six minutes. So all this can marry together. And I will bring y'all back when it's simmered. It's simmered enough. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut off the heat and we're going to take this and we're going to add it into our noodles. And because this is so hot, it usually heats our noodles right back up. But for some reason, if it doesn't heat the noodles enough for you, what I usually do is pop the noodles into the microwave for a few minutes to heat them back up, and it works out perfectly. But I never, I never have to put them back into the microwave. This usually works perfect. And then I mix this up really well. Just like that. Wow, this, this looks good and it smells amazing. Okay. Let's move this over. And now what we do is we get our sour cream out of the refrigerator. And the way I like to do it is not everybody likes it this way. Some people do, some people don't. But the way I like to do it is I like to put about two decent sized spoons of sour cream in it because you know everybody can add more sour cream to their own plate and mix it in with it just like that some people add butter to it some people don't I have the butter if they want to add it to their bowl they can Just like that, and we're going to get us a bowl, and we're going to give this stuff a taste. Let's get us one of these mushrooms right here. There's this one. I love mushrooms. All right. And you can use whatever kind of noodle that you want to use. I use these spiral tricolored noodles, but you can use egg noodles. You can use whatever noodles you want. Oh my God. Mm. That is, it's creamy. It's, it's rich. It's, it's amazing. That is just wonderful. It's easy to make. It's something you can make quick. You can make it on a weeknight. I mean, it's amazing. I've got to have another bite, guys. That's really good. Yeah, I've got to try this recipe. I'm telling you, it is just amazing. This is worth having, worth feeding to your family. Thank you, everybody, for watching today putting up with me with all my mistakes. I really appreciate it. Please like, subscribe, and I will see you next week. And please join me to see what I'll be cooking. Bye.